Well, folks, I'm just up here at the local syndicate water in Newton Ards. Um, if you look at the platforms, you can see there the water levels are scarily high compared to what they have been before. Um, just hope enough water flow is coming out. I'd hate to see too much more water coming in and not enough going out and uh, me waking it up in a pool of water submerged in the bivy. So I'm just taking a walk up and down just at the Oaks Peg here, Oaks 1 and 2, having a look. Um, I'd say in this instalment of the video we could end up on a blank. It doesn't look very promising but you never know. Yeah, have got to be in at the one, and I've just finished work. So I'm just getting ready to get the stuff out of the car. I've picked the spot there already, just because it's a good spot. Um, but I'm just doing a walkabout, as you do. A bit of watercraft, see if there's anything moving. But at this time of year, especially over here, in a lot of our waters, it's a case of just picking somewhere and hoping for the best. There's not really much signs of anything. But I'll, uh, I'll give it a good lap or two before I make any decisions. I'm just walking up here to the rope into the shallow water. I just want to see how much the shallow water has been lifted up as well. Be careful because it's very slippy. Very, very slippy indeed. And the green moss here on the ground, you end up going on your, your backside. So in work shoes, I'm just trying to be very cautious. Yeah, water levels are really up. Yeah, even the way that rope's sitting. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really fancy this side of the lake. It's a lot shallower. You know, you're down in the about a foot, foot and a half of water. Probably about two feet, two and a half feet now at the minute. But it just... I think the signs are more for the fish this weekend. They're in the deeper water. Stormier weather as well. Yeah. My gut is telling me to stay up the other side and usually when that's the feeling that's where I tend to, to follow. So going up there, truth be told, um really I want to try some of the other venues um but I want to get a few more of the fish under my belt. There's a nice big linear that I wouldn't mind catching so Oh, nearly away there. We'll give it uh, the best shot here. I'm down till Sunday morning and then I'm making a quick dash home so we'll see how that goes but I'm just literally recording this on the old iPhone. See how we get on. Uh, camera gear's in the car, just haven't had a chance to get it out yet. It's that cold, my hands are numb. So this rain looks not too promising more rainfall and just before I left work it was absolutely hammering down and I'm only about 10 minutes away oh nightmare as you can see like before I'd compared this lake sort of the one of the Nash Royston lakes it goes to a massive big frying pan and then down to the handle But we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, it's probably going to be a quiet weekend. Uh, there'll be very little cooking done. I'll probably order most stuff, bar my breakfasts. Uh, too cold to be bothered with any of that rubbish. As you see there, there's nobody else here yet. It's Friday and it's only half three, so I'd say that the regular boys haven't finished work yet. I'm just down to snipe a spot. I plan to be fishing. Yeah. Just over to where that sort of white bit of fence post is there and round to the right. Um, this lake is a two rod only rule, but come the 1st of December it goes to three rods. So at midnight tonight, one second past midnight, I'll be up and I'll be casting that third wee choddy to the horizon. So hopefully that uh, helps productivity. I'm only used to fishing two rods here, but I may as well. Um, if I find a spot that I'm uncomfortable in. I have two spots, three spots really, but one's encroaching on somebody else's water. So if nobody else weighs in, um, I'll do the needful and I'll nick their spot um, and fish it and see what happens. But I come back down to the car here to unload 
the, the, the gear now I haven't much with me because I'm trying to travel light got the super brolly and the light sleeping bag the Vortex uh, the Fortis sorry so we'll have to see how that compares in the cold weather I'm gonna need to go get petrol for the for the Coleman as well because there's not a hope I am fishing without a bit of heat just even into the bivvy into the brawly system about 15 minutes before I get in I think of the water bottle there as well so I'll get that into the bed and no dogs to keep me warm so we'll have to see how it goes but I'm back here in the car so once I get set up and get myself sorted sure I'll uh, keep you posted thanks Evening everyone here we are out on the bank again it's a cold November evening it's actually the 30th of November um, I'm here for a 48 hour session I arrived after work about half three, quarter to four. Not much really happened on the lake. I did a wee walkabout. I think I'm going to put part of that in the video that you'll get to see. I have two rods out on spots that are known spots now. I've backed the rigs off a bit further into deeper water just with the colder temperatures rather than the, the, the margin spots that I usually fish. So we'll see if that does anything. And then come midnight tonight. Uh, we're going to the 1st of November which means that this lake allows three rods so I've literally got a, a, a wee set up there I'm just gonna chuck it out on a, a, any old spot just to get a third rod out anyway and then I'll spend a bit of time tomorrow morning slash afternoon and do a bit of marking uh, markering sorry and see if I can find another spot for that rod um, I might even just use it as a roving rod and chuck it about a bit but I'm here in the bivvy tonight, I uh, have had the heat going a wee bit just to get it warmed up. I'm watching a couple of movies, I've had a bite to eat so I'm just chilling out. Um, I'm not hopeful with this session, it could be the first blank video, I've got a feeling. But again, it's just good to be out on the bank, I haven't been out now in a couple of weeks. So it's just good to be out and it's good to be making some videos. I um, haven't decided tomorrow whether I'm going to cast the spots or whether I'm going to bait boat. Tonight uh, it got a bit dark so I did boat uh, the two rods out but tomorrow I'll probably do a bit of casting. If I see fish anywhere I might end up moving peg. I'm travelling quite lightly. I'm the only person here tonight. The weather had been quite stormy for the last couple of days. Looking at the sign-in book here most people will say whether they've blanked or caught and there's very little over two pages of people being here uh, with, with, with catches so it's, it's looking quite bleak. But again, you got to be in it to win it, so we'll just have to see how the next sort of day and a half goes. I'm here to Sunday morning, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But if I get anything during the night, I'll keep you posted. But otherwise, uh, I'll talk to you in the I'll talk to you in the morning. Oh. As you can see, this morning it's wet, it's damp, it's miserable. It's just a typical Northern Irish morning. So. I'm going to give it another sort of half hour here and then I'm going to bring the rods in I need to nip home quickly uh, luckily I can leave the stuff all set here because it's secure and uh, I'll be back probably just after 10 o'clock uh, get the rods back out get a bite to eat but as you can see just a miserable morning nothing to report during the night very quiet other than the fact that about 11 o'clock I ended up with about a 7 pound brown trout, a massive big brown trout uh, on the wee chod rig that I cast out. Now, I could have put it on the mat, I could have took photos of it, but as I had netted it, the uh, chod rig came out of its mouth and I just thought I'll just slip it back rather than lift it out, you know there can be quite fragile sometimes the the big trout so yeah good evening you join me on the second night of this 48 hour session and there's not really much to report bar that trout at about seven pound the brownie i had last night um wiped all the rods out and caused absolute carnage there's been nothing uh two other guys have arrived today one guy he's had two fish um, the guy fishes the lake quite often so he's done really well to get that and in the conditions uh, it's quite cold wet miserable it hasn't stopped raining the whole time uh, the fox super probably just about is keeping up with it there's uh, condensation on the inside plus the odd bit of rain getting through the uh, seams so 
I'm still cosy enough, it's not affecting me in any way, but it's been very, very slow. I put the rods back out about 4 o'clock, had a bite to eat, and I've just been chilling on the bivvy. I've been confined to the bed chair here because it's pelting down my rain, and I don't want to really leave while it's like this, so I'm feeling a bit sort of claustrophobic here at the minute with the amount of uh, rain we've had, but it's still early doors, so we'll see what the night brings. Um, I'm not overly that confident, um, but we'll see. I've got two Mark Pitchers Hinch Stiff Rigs out with Mistral uh, Rosehip, and I've also got a Chod Rig out with a rose hip, uh, Mistral Rosehip as well, 15mm pop-up, and that's just fished over a bed of crushed Rosehip Oily and Pellet. So, now that it's coming into the winter, I've, I've, I've scratched winter feed in for the majority of the pellet, well, all the pellet actually, so we'll see what the night brings. Um, I'm not that hopeful, but you got to be in it to win it, so either you'll speak to me in the morning, um, or hopefully during the night if uh, something materialises. This will be the first video that we have blanked in, but as I say, it's not over yet, so we'll We'll fish hard right through into tomorrow. We've had a lower pressure today, just below the thousand millibar. Tomorrow it goes to about nine eight nine. Um so better opportunities again. Though the temperatures haven't been great, you know they are dropping off in the nights here, so not dr dramatically, just a couple of degrees, but with it already being so cold, uh, it's not doing as much good. But we'll we'll keep fishing through and see how it goes. So I'll keep you posted.